as the vibrant hues of summer fade into the muted tones of autumn and winter, our quest for the perfect scent deepens. In this dance of seasons, a fragrance becomes more than just the aroma, it's a story and a memory. Today we journey through fragrances that capture the essence of these colder months, tales of warm firesides and starlit nights. Join me into the heart of autumn and winter's most captivating scents. Dior en Parfum is a masterful dance of contrasts. It seamlessly embraced the richness of leather with timeless sophistication. It's a straightforward, yet memorable fragrance. I wasn't prepared to feel this way about uh, this type of scent, uh, because maybe one, one and a half years ago I wouldn't even look at uh, this fragrance and I wouldn't even enjoy wearing this type of fragrance but this is a fragrance that you wear and starting to appreciate when you have come a little bit uh, further in your fragrance journey I would say so when you cl collected some fragrances you started to be tired of the freshies then you go into this territory and it's a very uh, complex fragrance yet very elegant this fragrance is uh, I don't have a lot of things bad to say about this maybe you shouldn't wear this as a daily driver but if you want something that is very potent that is very highly projecting and elegant to wear in the winter time spray one one time in your neck and one on your wrist and you will be good to go for eight hours and this is a fragrance that smells better the longer it sits on your skin and it smells better the less of it you wear basically so you just want it just want one spray of this on your neck and one spray here this is a fragrance that shouldn't project so much it should just be something that lingers around in the air something that, that people can smell when they come close to you and get this whiff of this elegant rosy iris leather type of structure that builds up this fragrance to such a potent masterpiece in my opinion and it's very elegant man's fragrance i would say that i uh, appreciate a lot now when it's getting cold you can buy this at dior their uh, homepage, very easy to get. A lot of people say that this is hard to get. It's not, uh, I bought it. Um, they have a lot of it on their homepage. So buy it on their homepage. Don't try to buy it very expensive on, um, uh, like on second hand or from someone you don't know. Just maybe it could be a, a clone or something like that. But this is a great one for the mature man, elegant, dressed up, perfect for this type of season. Valentino Umo feels like a cozy evening indoors. With the comforting aroma of dark chocolate paired with a touch of leather. It's a fragrance that warms the senses, reminiscent of favorite memories and comforting moments. This is elegant Italian lifestyle in a nutshell. This also have a little bit nutty accord mixed with the leather and also a little bit more fruity sweet type of side also in the category of entry winter fragrances this one is a fantastic one if you want a little bit sweeter a little bit more playful fragrance but also something that is uh, have a distinct leather and um, uh, like chocolate vibe this is a great fragrance for that type of occasion it's very dressed up very goes very well with snowy days with cold winds strolls in the park date nights fantastic fragrance and i think this is a good price point as well uh, girls love love this fragrance on men i've heard and 
I think this is one of the better Valentino fragrances that you can buy. I think this is a great one still to this day, so buy this one. African leather paints a vivid picture of a sunset-lit African landscape. It's spicy with hints of cardamom and saffron grounded by earthy patchouli. A touch of leather ties it all together, making it a warm and inviting scent. When I first smell it, the first spray, the first blast reminds me actually a little bit about um, or of Beau de Jour. This earthy nuance. I know that there's not oak moss in this fragrance, in the note listing at least, but this one, in the top notes, I get this earthy vibe, uh, same as Bodie Shore from Tom Ford. But when it dries down, it becomes very cardamom like. But it's a pretty developing type of fra fragrance, which I like. And it sits on your skin for a long time. It's enough with one spray in the neck, one spray on your wrist, and you will be good to go. And African leather doesn't smell that much leather, in my opinion. That's why I like it, because I'm not a big fan of heavy leather scents, but this one is not a typical leather fragrance. It's very versatile, I feel. It's very cozy, it's very spicy in the best way possible, and it also develops when it sits in your skin to something beautiful, and elegant, cozy, and also a little bit unisex. Russia's moustache opens with a playful spark of pink pepper, leading to a comforting blend of vanilla and amber. The elegance of rose gently mingles with the earthy depth of patchouli. The scent pictures a dressed up man in a perfect fitted suit. This is a classy man's fragrance. If you're going to a cocktail party in the uh, fall, you are uh, wearing a very nice suit, tuxedo, whatever, or a nice overcoat in some brownish colors. You're wearing uh, black shoes. Maybe you have a nice uh, girl on your arm. Who knows? Maybe you take some cocktails and you walk out of this beautiful cocktail bar. You feel the, uh, the cold wind uh, hitting your face. And then someone uh, around you get a whiff of this fantastic fragrance. And this is the uh, Eau de Parfum version. I think this is the better one of the Eau de Toilette or Eau de Parfum. This is much more potent, it's more masculine and it's pretty long lasting. It's not as beast mode as um, uh, African leather, but I think this is a very classy fragrance for the guys that are over 30, I would say. It's a very spicy uh, fragrance. You, you can wear this as a you can wear this as a uh, all-around fragrance, actually, but I feel that the cold wind, when you have this on your neck and on, on your wrist when you talk and when people feel the siage around you, it's very, very elegant. It's a pretty upscale fragrance, so not for teenagers, but for a little bit more mature men. goes very well in this season. It's a fantastic smell. lasts a pretty long time. Try it. And this one... Uh, very cheap. Um, I thought, I think I got this for around 35 bucks. And I know a lot of people say that this is a clone of a YSL Tuxedo, and maybe it is, but I have had a YSL Tuxedo and I sold it because I didn't think that it was worth the high price tag. And I think this is even better than the YSL Tuxedo. I don't think that YC, YSL Tuxedo is classier and stuff like that. I think that this is much more worth the money. It's a little bit more versatile and uh, I think it's fantastic for the price you pay. 
Hugo Boss Descent Absolute is a playful and flirty fragrance. It captures the essence of hopeful youth with hopes and dreams. Its fruity chord makes it likable yet memorable for everyone around you. This fragrance is a scent for all you guys who want something that is spicy, cozy, but also a little bit juvenile and fruity at the same time. This is, I, I wouldn't say that this is a like elegant masculine type of fragrance. I would say that this is something for maybe teenagers, maybe from 20 to 30 is a good age span because this has that a little bit flirty nuances with the with the fruity accord in this fragrance that makes it uh, very wearable for the younger crowd which is of course fantastic so Hugo Boss the scent absolute is a great fragrance for the little bit younger it's a little bit easier to wear than the previous fragrances so if you are in the beginning of your fragrance journey and you don't really want to take a big leap into these spicy fragrances this a little bit a harder to digest fragrances. This designer fragrance is a good starting point, I would say, if you want something for the autumn and winter time. Hugo Boss, the scent absolute, is a fantastic scent. Spice Bomb starts with a zesty burst of bergamot, leading to the mysterious allure of tobacco and leather. A hint of pink pepper adds an unexpected twist, making it a fragrance full of captivating surprises. Still a very versatile and very masculine fragrance. I think that this is a staple in uh, every man's wardrobe and you don't really have to just wear this when it's super cold. It could be pretty mild, it could be like 15, 10, 15 degrees outside. It's okay to wear this because this is this is a very clean and dry spicy fragrance with the pink pepper on the top note. When it dries down, it becomes a little bit more cardamom and cinnamon-like, and and it like it's, it's a little bit fresh in the opening, and then it dries down to this little bit more dry spicy fragrance. That is a very very masculine type of scent. That is very likable. It, it has some type of shaving cream gel vibe to it that makes it very uh, attractive for women because it's very masculine type of smell. So these were my fragrances of today. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think these are the six best fragrances for the autumn and winter time right now the leaves starting to fall here thank you so much for watching see you the next time